We live in a world where change is the only constant. Where peoples separated by miles, borders, culture, opportunity are being knit together in new ways. By technology, a phenomenon that changes every life it touches. Omnipresent, everywhere. Mobile. Five billion mobile connections. More than one billion women in developing countries using mobile phones. This is technology that liberates, bringing transformative change. One project, one elegant solution, one transaction, one conversation at a time, allowing us to do more with less. Living with no wasted time. Working with less wasted energy. This is the technology that is bringing aid, nourishment, inspiration, financial security, jump-starting economic ambition, bringing healthcare everywhere bringing life and new beginnings. This is the technology that is taking a single message and turning it into a roaring crowd of voices, ushering in a springtime of global transformation. This is the social unifier. Mobile. The Liberation Technology. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. I'd like to thank uh, Greg Finell and his team at GMMB for putting that video together for us. We're here to talk about the intersection between human behavior, social media, and the mobile ecosystem, something we're calling social mobile. As many of you know that the headlines are going towards smart devices, and apps, but the reality is, just like we saw in computing, is that technology evolves and is going to continue to evolve to the point where those services provided by apps, those features provided by phones are going to become more and more available to many of the five billion connections that were stated up there. We brought together two expert panelists that represent where most of the mobile spend has gone uh, over the last few years. Uh, in the first case, we have Dr. Oren Levine. Um, he is the executive director uh, of uh, the International Vaccine Access Center for uh, Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Long title. Um, and uh, he's got a modest ambition to save the lives of five million children over the next 20 years. We're going to talk about their mission and how they're looking to accomplish that. Our other expert panelist, Mitch Spolin, is in one of the hottest spaces in mobile uh, across the board globally, and that has to do with, with uh, getting um, uh, those last X feet of, of uh, retail to point of sale, and the challenges of dealing with not only search and location, but local search. Um, and he runs national uh, sales for Living Social. Uh, two opposite ends of the spectrum dealing with one mobile ecosystem, but dealing with completely different human behavior aspects. And the way we're going to approach this is by starting not by talking about devices, but about the lifestyle and the behavior that they're in as a business. Uh, the way many of you look at that to start, you're thinking about a strategy that's integrated and that leverages uh, technology like mobile. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to, uh, to Oren to get us started. Oren? Thanks. Thanks, Bob. And uh, I really want to thank the the hosts here, I want to thank everybody who came out. I want to make sure everybody knows that Nick Jonas is not on this panel. <laughs> so I want to thank all of you who came to hear us. Um, also want to just say uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, today's, uh, today's Father's Day for many of us, and uh, hopefully I think you'll see that the, the presentation I'm going to give and, and the, the remarks I'm going to make are really about families, fathers, households, and, and, and how mobile technology 
the internet and, and social media can, can help uh, improve their lives.